and it was tarnished and it had to go back to uh, the Hermes spa for a repair and it took over 10 months and it was a uh, super long story. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently I had another subscriber share to me that she took the plunge and she took off the stickers on her Hermes bags and now she is super anxious, although it looks beautiful because I've always recommended and advised that you guys remove your stickers as soon as you can. And that is because Hermes hardware doesn't matter which one, palladium, gold, rose gold, which I have examples of each. They're very sensitive and yes, if it's a brand new item, you could probably leave the stickers on for a little while, but it still depends on the environment and just your luck, I suppose. A few things can happen which will make not removing the stickers worse than having removed them. Tarnishing is probably the worst, but sometimes the hardware can just become dull because if the stickers stuck on it for too long, then that sticky material is kind of stuck on it and kind of degraded the material. Or worse, I heard that you can even take off some of the gold plating. So yes, in this video, we're gonna talk about the different hardwares and how they look like and um, especially if you're not sure about rose gold and gold because they're quite similar and I will also show you examples of what happened to me to my very very beloved Birkin bag which was in rose gold super sensitive rose gold is the most sensitive and it was tarnished and it had to go back to uh, the Hermes spa for a repair and it took over 10 months and it was Oh, super long story. Before we get started, I wanted to thank 7 or 9 for sponsoring this next portion of the video. They are a shoe company that makes very, very stylish shoes. But not only that, they have a patented air touch foam technology that makes the shoes antibacterial, breathable, and also soft like a cloud. 709 was founded by two ladies that was in search of the perfect balance between comfort and beauty in high heels. And not only that, they've come up with so many different accessories that you can interchange to spice up your shoes. And so when they reached out to me, I was really excited because I really wanted to try out some some really cute shoes that are not only walkable but comfortable and cute. These ones I was the most excited. They look like the Chanel flats that I could never buy because the Chanel flats never fit me. So these are called the silver roll. I love the little bow detail here, a little bit of that short heel and the very flexible lambskin is so comfortable, I can attest to that already. The patented air touch foam technology is all around the toe cap area. It's supposed to keep your toe box comfortable and dry. The insoles here are made of sheep skin as well. Below the insole, there's also a high elastic cushion core material, which helps with shock absorption. And also the bottom is an anti-slip rubber outsole. Now, this next pair of sandals is part of their new collection. It's called the Plum Bago. And then you can see here the cushioning on the sandal is quite thick. And so you know that it's gonna be really, really comfortable. With this elasticated lambskin ankle strap with a bit of heel. And this blue denim color is just so cute. Again, I took it in a size 38, which is a US 7, but I feel like for these ones, because my ankles are a little bit skinnier, I should have sized down because they are a little bit loose for me. With these sandals, you can go with accessories like this one. So this chain is so fun. And last but not least, I decided to go with one of their low so this is a flat shoe made of cow leather upper. Again, this shoe has also the mattress flats technology. So several layers of cushioning. And of course, the bottom sole is always that anti-slip material. I'm pretty sure with all, if not most, of their loafers you can really play with their accessories a bunch so i have a couple here to show you all you need to do is just kind of slip it in which is really really easy this area here is perfect for that so you can change up the look of your shoes instantly depending on your outfit so 
automatically this shoe became a little bit more warm and this shoe became a little bit more cool tone and it's just because of the accessories. So if you're interested in some comfortable stylish shoes, I'll have them a link down below. You can also use my coupon code AMYC15 to save 15% at checkout. All right, let's talk about the hardware. So let me show you again my rose gold Birkin. Do you guys remember her? For those of you who follow my um, Manage journey, especially since the beginning or have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you might remember that I waited a long time to get this bag. And this was my very first bag. And I, at the time, really, really wanted a rose gold black Birkin 25, which honestly, it's breathtaking. If you look at it from afar, you can't tell if it's rose gold or gold, but there's definitely a bit of that softness to it because gold is quite more yellow, which some people will find it a little bit more mature. Rose gold is a little bit more softer, a little bit more feminine. Anyway, that's all very personal. It's up to you, really your choice. They're both beautiful, honestly. But unfortunately, the reason why I ended up waiting for my bag for over a year and a half. I got my offer actually within my first year, but I had to send it back right away, basically the same week because underneath the stickers of my brand new bag, the hardware was tarnished. Anyway, at the time, I didn't want to go through this whole like dramatic storytelling and make a video out of it. I basically handled the situation on my own and just waited for the bag to come back and then revealed it to you guys. <laughs> so as if it never happened, but all of that actually happened in between and it was nobody's fault. It was definitely not my fault. The pandemic at the time in 2021, COVID had really affected a lot of the shipments and how long the bags had sit maybe in transit. Basically, even though my bag was brand new, somehow by the time it arrived to my store the hardware underneath the stickers had already tarnished like i said no one's fault but i obviously didn't see it at first and i had already taken the bag had already paid for it removed the stickers only to realize that it was not perfect that made it really like a whole learning experience that no one should have to go through but that was my experience for my first bag and of course it had to happen because it was the pandemic it was the worst time to start a journey in a way based on my personal experience i had learned the hard way that rose gold especially is the most sensitive gold and palladium are slightly better palladium is probably the least sensitive gold is kind of in the middle and then rose gold is the most sensitive but i would say across the board they're all sensitive of course we've heard many times some people say that they've kept their stickers for years even decades and there's no problem however you also hear some people have maybe just kept it for a couple years and decided to remove the stickers then and then the hardware is ruined so it's really up to you it's your prerogative if you decide to remove the stickers or not. But from personal experience and just the fact that I love how shiny they look, I much prefer to get them off as soon as possible, especially if you have rose gold or gold. I would say those two are the most sensitive. So for your eyes and for your reference, here's the difference between rose gold and gold. They are both beautiful, but you know, if you didn't see the yellow gold, beside it you wouldn't be able to tell that this is rose gold right off the bat because it's quite soft um and it's really really beautiful to look at uh, and of course if you just saw this one you you might think that it's rose gold sometimes but um it's definitely quite a lot more yellow they're both gorgeous and i love both of them for different reasons um I, I just love having a bit of both, basically. Back to the story of my subscriber sharing the fact that she finally took the plunge and took out the stickers and was very anxious because she knows that the scratches will come. Yes, they will come, but I, you know, have had my stickers off for a long time now. So this bag is uh, obviously a little bit newer than the Birkin, but they're both 
I mean, they're both so shiny, you wouldn't even be able to tell the very, very fine scratches. If anything, on the Birkin, I see less scratches because on the Birkin, you don't really handle the sangles very much, meaning you don't really have to close your bag. So it, you hardly even touch the sangles. So really, it's not a problem on the Birkin. So if that's not encouraging to you, if you have a Birkin, don't worry about it. Just use your bag take off those stickers. It's gonna look so much nicer anyway. On the Kelly, for sure you're handling the Kelly a little bit more because every time you open and close the bag, you have to go through this area here and then your sangles might get in the way, might get scratched uh, with your rings and whatnot. Um, but generally speaking, they are still in a really, really good condition. And honestly, I'd much prefer seeing scratches uh, than tarnishing as long as you're storing your bags properly and also kind of maintaining your bag properly over time you shouldn't see too much wear and tear and even if there was a lot of scratches that bugs you it takes a long time for them to develop especially unless you're very rough with your bags it will take a, such a long time maybe decades before you get the kind of wear and tear that will really really bug you and, and then you can send it to the spot. Either way, you have to send it to the spot if there's any damage on the hardware. And even though Hermes is way more premium in a way, they use the most premium material, they use real gold plating, it is sensitive. It's a luxury to have a luxury bag, you know? It's sort of like you really need to take care of your things. So for me, I use this Dior microfiber. It's just the one that came with my sunglasses it's very very soft and this is the one that i dedicate and i use it on all my hardware and i just go ahead and wipe it every time i store it before it goes back to storage and that way everything will stay pristine and really 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 gorgeous it's really not that hard so on a belt you will even get more scratches than on a bag i don't know about you guys i don't know why i always lean on the counter but even then, uh, the scratches on the belts, they are a little bit worse, but it's really not that bad, especially on the Kelly belt. So I'm going to show you all my Kelly belts. And also, before we even do that, let's show you Palladium first, because like I said earlier, Palladium is definitely, of the three hardware, the least sensitive. It's still sensitive, but it's definitely the least sensitive. I would say if you're really, really nervous and you really want to preserve the scratch-free palladium hardware that you have on a bag or on anything really, you could leave your stickers a little bit longer. But still, they're all sensitive. At the end of the day, they're all sensitive. I still prefer that you remove them, but if you want, to take a little bit more time, palladium is definitely a little bit safer to keep them on a little longer. That's my two cents. So I have a very old palladium hardware plated belt and I have not, I have zero taken care of this belt whatsoever. I have not taken care of it. I did not even know anything about tarnishing at the time when I bought this belt. So this belt is from 2016, and I don't know if you can tell all the scratches on it. I also never wiped it, never did anything to take care of it. And like you see, it's all scratched up because I tend to lean towards counters. But generally speaking, I have to say that palladium really is easy to maintain. Even though I never wiped this belt, I never wiped the hardware on this one, um, I will say aside from a slight bit of patina, like a bit of kind of yellowing around the edges, I can't see anything else wrong with it. And honestly, on camera, you might not even detect it at all because of the reflection. And that is the beauty of any of these hardware pieces. Yes, they're sensitive, but once you take off the stickers, they reflect light so much that you will never be able to tell any of the blemishes or any of these scratches on it because only you would know. It would only affect you when you do want to resell any of your items because that's the first thing they look at, you know, in terms of the wear and tear to the rating. But if you're just going to use your items and keep it for <laughs> your own enjoyment, you will not care. So even on this 2016 belt, 
which I had for a long time and never took care of it. It's looking really, really good. All of my Kelly belts are relatively new because I bought them relatively recently. So this one I bought in 2022, year end of 2022. And as you can see, it's really beautiful and shiny. Also, it does have a curve on it because the Kelly belt does have somewhat of a curve. To my naked eye right in front of me, I can tell this one has a bit of um, it's not really tarnishing, but it's definitely kind of that yellowing around the edges. I would call that patina, kind of this, just the aging of the hardware, and especially because I haven't taken care of this. And that's the difference between the two. If you don't take care of them, that's how it's going to age. But if you wipe your hardware after each use, it should be no problem. Like for me, any of these belts, they will stay pristine for a long time because I know how to take care of them now. So that's your Palladium hardware. Generally speaking, I love all three hardwares. I think for me, it depends more on the color and also the material of the leather that makes the difference. And as you saw earlier also, you could have the same color leather, but different hardware on it. And then it will also change up the look of it. It makes it warmer, cooler. Okay, so a lot of people say that palladium and rose gold look very similar or that rose gold looks silver sometimes. And that is true depending on the lighting. So I've got a brand new belt right here. I've never revealed it on my channel yet, but I have worn it a ton already. So you're seeing this for the first time. I went ahead and bought a rose gold etoupe Kelly belt. And yeah, I just thought that the combination looked really, really pretty. So here's the rose gold. Of course, I've went ahead and removed the stickers already. I'll insert a clip of me removing the stickers. Definitely a lot more sensitive. And I can prove that to you, not only from just the pictures that I had on my Birkin. Again, this belt is brand new. I just bought it. And when I went ahead and removed it, I noticed right away that around the areas that had no stickers on, it was a little bit more pink. Watch this, guys. It's going to blow your mind how crazy sensitive rose gold is. Because this belt is brand new. And even then, after you remove the stickers, you can see a shadow around the sticker. Do you see that? Do you see that shadow where the sticker was? And this part around the rivet is a lot more pink. That is the reason why you should always remove your stickers. All you need to do is just rub it with your finger. So here you go. I just rubbed it with my thumb and it's all even now again it's a brand new belt it's not a fault or anything but rose gold is very sensitive the sticker was protecting of the whichever area it was on the plate but whatever was still exposed to the air had turned a bit more pink and that's completely natural it's just that they're not exposed to the same environment. Therefore, that just proves right away, shows you that rose gold is extremely sensitive because if you had removed the sticker on a palladium hardware, it would just look exactly the same. Nothing has changed. One down, ooh, so shiny. And now the other side. There we have it. See how much more shiny it is, even though it's so small, but now you can really see the whole birdie is so much more vibrant because it's a lot less sensitive. And unless it was so old, like, I mean, so old, and then you go ahead and remove it, you might see a bit of that color difference, just like this one kind of became a bit more yellow patina, but it takes quite a bit longer for palladium to show that kind of difference. Whereas rose gold, brand new, literally brand new, it was already showing the difference between the hardware being exposed to different environment. Obviously being protected underneath the stickers, it was staying a little bit lighter color. But again, if you decide to not remove your stickers, you do run the risk of any air or humidity seeping into underneath the stickers because sometimes the stickers are not really on very very tight right sometimes they're very tight and sealed all across sometimes they're not sometimes they're just kind of 
on the on top but the edges around it is a little bit more lifted and that's nobody's fault it's just the batch that they are the way they maybe applied the sticker the individual that did it is different um, so all that to show is that rose gold is super sensitive now as you can see right after i removed the sticker yes there is a bit of color discrepancies around the four corners but i just used my thumb and i went ahead and rubbed it all around and it was evened out already because again it's brand new it should be like that especially for rose gold i always always go ahead and wipe it after each use after each time i touch it i just wipe it before i go and store it just because if you have like a fingerprint on it that's like your oils and just a different material that's sitting on top of that area and it can oxidize and just do weird things over time if you don't clean it and just by wiping it off the whole surface is even now i have two kelly belts that are in yellow gold i will say yellow gold is quite a good in between not that i discriminate against a silver look or palladium look i just think that with palladium it just it has to suit a very specific color like the cool tone and grip kelly that i have that one in palladium is excellent superb i wouldn't want that one in gold hardware for example but generally speaking i do favor my yellow gold or a warm tone hardware which is why i really really like yellow gold and rose gold but i do know that rose gold is more sensitive even though it's really not that much harder to take care of i do the same thing for all of them but yellow gold is a happy medium and definitely one that um is still going to be sensitive but a little bit less than rose gold side by side they are similar but still very very different again yellow gold is going to have a lot more of that yellowness to it but they're very similar they're both warm tone um and rose gold just has more of that softness especially if you have a skin tone that really goes well with rose gold such as um, most asian skin tone goes really really well with um, rose gold again that's just really generalizing um, because yellow gold also looks good on me as well so let's just do three because it's a little hard to hold them side by side so you can see the difference here they're all really really gorgeous and it just depends on you what you like the most um, and it depends on the color of the leather as well. I think I prefer gold Epsom with gold hardware. That's just my preference, if you ask me. For a tube, I've seen all kinds of hardware on a tube, and they all look nice. Even palladium looks really nice on a tube. It just makes it a little bit more casual and cool tone black as well all three hardware suits it very very nicely when yellow gold is right beside rose gold sometimes the rose gold can kind of reflect a bit silver just like right here it can reflect a bit silver as well which is why uh, rose gold is such a chameleon like i said i like all three for me it just depends on the combination of the bag of course i have this one belt which um, doesn't even match my newest bag so i have to get a more cool tone white belt and palladium hardware to match with my new bag now but i really love all three hardwares i think they're all beautiful in their own way but i do caution you especially if you're new to hermes or if you are someone who's never really taken off the stickers because you don't want to damage them you might be doing more damage than you think i hope this video answered all your questions about the differences between the three hardwares whether you should remove the sticker or not how long you should wait again all of that is really subjective and relative to a bit of luck and relative to your environment and where you got the bag when you got the bag so all of that really matters there's no one that can really tell you how long you should keep it on you do it at your own risk of course let me know which one is your preferred hardware color and if you can share which combo of bag 
that you have in that hardware it will be really really nice to read everyone's comment i will make sure to link everything in the info box including all the cute little clothing and jewelry and the shoes and even though i didn't talk about it these cute pearl jewelry they're so adorable they're from fedoma i will have that linked and of course all the outfits they're new and they're still on sale but only for until tomorrow so make sure that you check them out that's it for today thanks for watching and i'll see you in next week's video bye